Hey Aquarius, welcome back to Distilled Tarot. My name's Shannon, I'll be guiding you through today's reading. This is going to be our daily reading for Sunday, January 24th. Let's see what's going on with Aquarius. At the heart of your reading, we have the Seven of Pentacles in reverse. This feels like doubting the plan. It's like um, something you've been working toward with an expectation of reward or payment or results. And it's the point at which like you've planted the seed and maybe it's doing something underneath the surface. Maybe it's not. Right now you're leaning toward the this is never going to grow category. Hmm. What has Aquarius so doubtful? Knight of Swords. Uh, you're impatient. You just want it. You're not the gardener. <laughs> you're like... You are in your comfort zone when you can get a new idea and jump on it swiftly. This is very much not swift. It's an entire season. It's choosing the seed, uh, fertilizing the soil, tilling the soil, planting the seed, watering it, making sure you're, you're planting it in the right uh, time frame that's appropriate for that sort of thing. It takes so much patience. And here is Aquarius like, new fresh idea i need i need intellectual stimulation feels unfair to you justice in reverse you feel like you deserve this payout you're like well i've planted the seed i've watered it i followed the instructions it's this impatience like like, I, I followed the instructions. I understood them, and I, I swiftly carried out the plan. And, and the, it's not like a lush garden yet. This is never going to work. I'm out of here. I'm not getting the I'm out of here energy just yet. I'll let you know. Let's see... It's not even frustration or impatience quite. It's more like And it's not quite boredom either. It's 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 something something like all of that wrapped up but different. It'll come to me. Let's see what led up to this in the recent past. Eight of Pentacles reversed. Not putting the work in. Hmm. No more work to be done. Oh, already having done the work. Right, okay. So this is like idle hands. Oh, I see. Okay, okay. You want intellectual stimulation, however, you you're in this for the long haul. You've you've done the work. Now it's I don't know gardening well enough to give you a, an example, so I'll do a real hack job at it. It's like if you were meant to uh plant everything and then wait over the winter and then in the spring everything comes up this would be like your first time farming and going through a process where there's this long stage of of waiting so this reversal could be like the winter like you're no longer actively tilling the soil or like guarding the plants against pests or 
making sure it gets the right sun. It's like not even sprung forth out of the soil yet. You're not liking it. When you look at it, you see how this is like unfair. You're feeling very much like, wait, I did the work. Where's my garden? What do I do now? What do I, uh, yeah, let me describe the rest of that energy for you. It's like, your typical mode of operation would be, all right, let me find something else to work on while I'm waiting for that. Except this situation requires you to wait. I feel a strong sense of, of uneasiness about the, that waiting. That's your challenge. Because it, there's something you need to do the moment like each new sproutling pops up. And this is a, a bad example with, with farming, because I know this isn't the way that farming works. At least I don't think it is, because um, I know nothing about farming. <laughs> um, but it's almost like in this analogy, the everything's going to start blooming at different, at different moments. And you need to be there to, to do some more, to take more action. Like, okay, it's sprung forth. Okay, now's the time when I do this part and I do that part. And I need to make sure that uh, the, the gophers don't get it or the rabbits don't get it. It's like there will be more to do and you just, you don't know exactly when or exactly what. But you really want to be intellectually engaged and that that... The lack of intellectual engagement right now is your challenge. Just dealing with that. The energy of the environment is not knowing what to do. Getting stuck in your own head. Well, that tells me that you're, you're meant to go through this. That there's a benefit to feeling the way that you're feeling right now. I'm remembering a, a series of readings that we had recently that was very much about Aquarius needs to become more disciplined. And I think I hear an echo of that message here in um, flying from project to project to seek intellectual stimulation to what it actually takes to see something through to completion. This is Aquarius's reaction to that. Like, uh, it's the, the way that the, the, the brain, when not having, not being intellectually stimulated, is like, uh, God, it's hard for me to describe. Um, but it's like, Well, what do, I, what do I do now? Can I work on this project? Well, no, you have to be there. Okay, well, and it's like this going around in circles. It's, universe wants us to figure that out, to experience it so that we have a new template, so that we can see this through and be disciplined about it. Show us the near future. Two of Cups, emotional engagement, emotional commitment. I'm looking back over this to see in a relationship context. Mm. Anytime the Two of Cups shows up, it could be relationship related, of course. I'm just not getting a strong read off of that at the moment. I feel like this is more, um, it, it's the, the shift between the energy of I need intellectual stimulation to this can be emotionally fulfilling for me. 
finding the commitment to the long-term objective from how it makes you feel about yourself, about the project, um, about being someone who can complete, uh, not just come up with great ideas and come up with great plans, but have the discipline and fortitude uh, to, to actually carry out your own plan. I think it's going to be very emotionally rewarding. It could represent someone else entering the picture who, who shares, a, who like is uh, just as emotionally committed to this thing that you're working on right now as you are. It could be like a partner that you could start working with. Or what you're working through right now could open the door for love. Like maybe the person that universe has in store for you, one of their deal breakers is like a lack of follow through. So if you like implement this new ability to uh, see an idea through to completion, that could be like the thing that they see and witness that makes them want to emotionally connect with you. Your surprise energy is judgment in reverse. Hmm. Justice in reverse, judgment in reverse, side by side here. Something doesn't feel balanced, something doesn't feel fair. And then you change your mind. Changing the approach, changing the plan. Give me more about judgment, please. Oh, there's no going back. There won't be a resurrection of uh, old ways here. It's a... a um, like writing the decision in stone, like I've decided and now it's permanent. This is a major shift for you that's um, going to lead to a new emotional start. Whatever this thing is that you're seeing through, it's either related to love, related to a relationship, or it's going to open the door for that. Your hopes and fears, we have the King of Swords reversed. You don't want this, um, whatever it is, it's not quite frustration, but you know, the, this energy that I've been talking about with needing intellectual stimulation, you really want to get the better of that. Um, you want to be the person that sees things through, and you want to be the person that other people expect that of you. Like in a good way. Like, oh yeah, Aquarius. They're the person who can have a great idea and they can make it happen. You don't want to be the, oh yeah, Aquarius. Well, they're one, one year they're excited about one thing and then like the last time I heard from them, they're on a totally different track. They've changed directions completely. So, uh, yeah. And I'm not hating on that way of life. Don't get me wrong. Like, that's my way of life. I'm an Aquarius. But like, uh, what I'm reading here is that Aquarius wants um, to feel the respect of people who haven't respected that, who've seen it as flightiness. They're like, no, I always had it within me to see this through. Now I'm doing it. End result. I've seen it through. Look, I wanted to build this, and I've built it. 
I had a dream, I had a vision, I had a goal. And like Aquarius always knows, well, of course I could make that happen. Of course I can. I can, like, I have the vision. I can see through from the idea to the completion. And it's almost like the completion of it to Aquarius is an afterthought. Like, well, why? Why go through all the work and effort? Like, I can already see it completed in my mind. The idea is sound. I'm going to move on to the next intellectually stimulating idea. But this is very different. This is saying, I'm going to have an idea, and I'm going to plant the seeds, and I'm going to wait for winter to pass, and then I'm going to pick it back up where I left off, and I'm going to freaking harvest those crops. And I'm, I'm also getting this strong energy of like, see everyone? See? I told you. <laughs> Your advice. Four of cups, chariot reversed. Yeah, don't get bored with the situation and just hightail it out of there. Um, you're meant to go through that experience. It's, it's, there's some benefit that you're reaping from this. Don't just um, lose interest, get apathetic, and move on. Because if you stick to it, you're going to have the life that you want, the result that you want, in a big way, big success. Ten of Pentacles carries with it um, like major monetary reward. So if that's part of what you're going for here, if there's a potential for big payoff or uh, wealth, like serious, like generational wealth, then you stick to it, you apply yourself, and you can have that life. You can have that, that dream life. Aquarius, I hope that helped. Enjoy the rest of your day, and I'll see you back tomorrow.